Hey everybody, this is Brittany and welcome to the channel. It is Scribbles by Brittany. I am bringing you a old video. It was filmed on an old camera and I I enjoy this type of view from like the side top down. It kind of opens everything up and then you guys can see everything a little bit more freely. Unfortunately, my video videoing capabilities no longer extend this, so that's why it's kind of an old video clip, but that's okay. I am bringing you this because it is going to be October here soon, if not already when I'm posting this, and you guys know that that is a huge time of the year for me as far as it being probably my favorite time of the year, being Halloween and stuff like that. Um, and I am so excited. Unfortunately, I don't think that this video or this piece of artwork will be available on my Redbubble because I've had it previously on there and unfortunately it was deleted or flagged for copyright infringement or something and unfortunately when I say this if you are throwing the red flag on me y'all should be paying attention to some of the other quote unquote artists on there because there are people who are stealing literally photo images off of Google and using them on Redbubble to either A, make a quick buck, or whatever. Because the amount of National Park logos and stuff is unreal. And it absolutely irritates me as a hiker and a person that does try to frequent the National Parks regularly. It It's very frustrating. And so yeah, this, unfor this piece of artwork probably won't be available on the Red Bubble Shop. Um, in the future, I will probably have it as a sticker in a regular, if, if I open up my online shop. So that way you guys can still get it there if you would like. I am very, very happy because in the next coming weeks, I will be switching from the current job that I am doing to a new position and I will be going from first shift to thirds so for me that's really freaking exciting um, it's been a while since I've been on thirds here recently I've been losing out on sleep uh, just in general and and then on top of that like it's just you know when you are in a position where it's one of those things it's it you're not running away from the problem you are growing oh, growing away from the problem i hope that makes sense I'm trying to feel like i'm not trying to like i I'm trying to make it make sense um and I'm not justifying the reason why I'm leaving the position. I, this has been, actually, I've been trying to leave the position for like close to a year and a half now. And I finally found something that I feel like is better, is going to better align with me personally. And I'm very excited for it. Um, so yeah. I have kind of dug through Reddit here recently. And I'm probably going to read you a couple of um, spooky stories. I think that's going to be like a lot of fun. And I know in one of the videos I actually share my own spooky stories. So that's super exciting for me. <laughs> I don't normally share stuff like that. It's kind of personal 
and sometimes people will be like, oh, it's just, it's just your imagination and stuff, and I mean, I think if you know, you know, um, and there's just no explaining some stuff, and I am not exactly religious, but I am very spiritual, so... And I find my spirituality kind of connects whenever I'm outside and in nature. Hiking is a big thing for me. It's a really big grounding uh, exercise. It's very peaceful and just uh, heartwarming. It's oh, it, There's just something about hiking that sends my soul on a path of enlightenment. And I sound like a damn tree hugger right now. And I do apologize for that. I really don't care. I mean, it's just... You... If you have... If you've always had a love for the outdoors... Um... You definitely know how to appreciate it. Uh... And you appreciate it throughout your entire... Livelihood whether you're with people or without doing it solo it's yeah so but enough about what's going on with me let's get to the artwork I did lay down some tan or yeah I think it's a uh, tan beige um, base and then I'm going in with the darker and kind of lighter shades to kind of smooth out a transition. I, I am trying to figure out a way to do artwork, but I think it's called a, it's a complementary contrast, I think is what it is. And basically if you have a palette, um, a specific palette, you take some of the darker shades of that palette and you use them to create the shadows and stuff on the artwork. And I've been trying to figure out the best way to do that. So, that's kind of where I'm at. And I'm learning along the way, just the same as you guys are. And I'm going to bring you on that journey. I have been for the past year now. Actually, I think I think it's been about a year since I, st since I started posting regularly. So, enjoy some more. And I will chime in whenever I have a nice spooky story to share with you guys.
So, as I said, I'm going to try and read some of these stories off of Reddit about some spooky stories. And this one is going to be kind of interesting. Um, I kind of briefly, like, so I briefly read it. Ha, huh, read it. Um, I kind of glanced over it, looked that it was kind of cool, and then just screenshot it, saved it. So you guys will get a, like, a literally raw reaction. Um, so bear with me. Uh, <laughs> This one's kind of short, but it says, and it reads, I'm an EMT and eat this stuff up. I'm guessing she's talking about spooky stuff, <laughs> like me. I'm not necessarily religious, on the fence about it, but I've experienced some stuff I cannot explain. I can recall one fairly well. I was in the basement of the hospital grabbing a new gurney as ours was ripped apart from a violent patient. It was 3 a.m. PQ was on the third floor, so I'm guessing patient ICU was on the third floor and it was locked down for the night. No visitors in the hospital. The basement storage unit was packed with stuff, so when I felt my shirt get pulled on, I assumed it got caught on an object. Got caught on an well, I guess I assumed it got caught on an object. Then it happened again. Only this time I heard a little girl's voice crystal clear say, "I'm lost." My heart was pounding and I felt all the hairs on my body stand up and I called my partner down to help with the gurney. Oh, and then it maybe I didn't okay so maybe um oh snap did I lose it maybe I did oh shoot I talked to the other I talked to the nurses CNAs and even some physicians who have had weird experiences especially in the ICU and the hospice side and then that's where it goes off from there rude I want to know the end of the story, man. Dude, that is, like, kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. But I've also had a, like, kind of a little girl um, situation that has happened before. Not gonna lie. It was really weird. So, yeah. I kind of wish that there was more to that. Because it's all I got. So... I want to kind of throw in a quick and funny story. Um, on more than one occasion, I forget the color layers when it comes to coloring candy corn. And I ended up getting them tattooed on my arm like years ago. So sometimes I have to look at my arm to make sure I am coloring the candy corn right kind of funny. Actually, really kind of sad <laughs> that I can't remember candy corn, but it's okay.
Okay, here's another kind of spooky story that I've just glanced over. It kind of goes to the hiking theme. So, and I'm a hiker, so that this kind of slightly scares me, but it's also very interesting to me. So, the scariest thing I've had happen while camping. So I live in Eastern Oregon, and my mom lives in Western Oregon. I went to her I went to visit her for the summer, and she's very outdoorsy, so we decided to take the one-hour drive from her city to the coast. We ended up at this free campsite at the top of this hill. Huge foothills of the coastal mountains, about a 25-minute drive from the top, where the campsite is to the bottom, where the main road was. And we were the only campers there. We relaxed for the rest of the day, made food, etc., a truck full of men driving up the hill, and talk of a truck full of men drive up the hill and talk with my mom I don't know what about wasn't oh gosh uh, stupid okay so wasn't suspicious at the time and they leave, and they leave us fast forward to the middle of the night I wake up to my mom sitting sitting straight up in the tent. I wake easily, so I heard her gasp, and it woke me. As soon as she saw I was awake, she put her hand over my mouth because I was starting to ask her what's wrong. It was dead silent, and all of a sudden you hear footsteps right beside the tent. The little flap that covers the zipper was even moving. Thankfully, my mom has quick wits and said very loudly, Kenny, grab the gun. Kenny is my dad, although that doesn't matter, and mind you, he was not there, just as girls like I previously said. They left, no harm was done, thank the lord for my mama. And that's kind of, not necessarily a spooky story, but that's definitely one for the books that like, as a solo hiker, I, I definitely, I carry, I carry. I can seal carry, I have a license, you can almost guarantee you that I'm, I'm not going to do this, we ain't going to play those games, because if you play those games, you will find out what those games can play, um, and with a background that I have, I am considered very accurate with my shot. Um, so this goes to anybody that wants to approach me, um, in a very negative way. Uh, just forewarning, but, uh, if my, my safety is very, how should I say, if my, if my, if I feel like I am in a self unsafe position, I will do whatever it is to neutralize the threat. Simple as that. <sighs> but anyways, that right there is probably one of the things that absolutely scares me about solo hiking and solo camping. It has absolutely nothing to do with the bears, the moose, the elk, the mountain lions, and stuff like that. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the fact that, unfortunately, humans... And I'm going to say this probably as nicely as possible. Us humans have a wide range of thought patterns and um, experiences and emotions and <sighs> that you can never tell what somebody is thinking. You can never trust it. Now, 
when it comes to an animal, an animal is all about instinct. If they are frightened, they're either they're going to run. If they feel threatened, they're going to attack. If if that makes sense in the way, that's kind of what I'm leading on. Because I am I am more scared of having a stranger in the woods or seeing a stranger in the woods that I have no 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 idea about. Um, there have been occurrences that I've heard of women being followed um, up north um, near Cleveland area because I am in Ohio. They've been they've been being followed and stuff and somebody actually from what I understood there was also another occurrence that happened in southern Ohio where someone was being followed and they um, they actually pulled out their they had drawn their firearm and that was in my opinion probably the best thing for that situation um, and it is very scary. Um, I don't want to get into too much of like the whole politics behind gun control because nobody wants that. This is an art channel. Um, but if you guys do want to know more about that, I am more than happy to let you guys know and kind of like walk you through some of the things that I believe because I do feel like having a platform and sharing my experiences, I've had a couple of instances that were very scary while solo hiking. Um, and actually, I can share you guys one. That's not a problem with me because I still got like 20, probably 10 minutes left on this video. But I will share it with you guys. I was down near Dayton, Ohio, and I was hiking on one of the trails. And it's a beautiful trail and I it was probably later in the morning it wasn't quite because usually I go very early in the morning I want to kind of beat the rush and I was that and I also don't want anybody to hear my heavy breathing but I was I was getting my pack ready I was getting everything kind of sorted through getting the last things together, basically suiting up, and I have my bag, and somebody pulls into the parking lot, and they're in, like, a white, I think it's, like, a newer Pathfinder, um, I don't recall, like, the year, but it was a newer kind of Pathfinder, and it was white, it was an SUV, and this guy gets out, and he just kind of, he just kind of stands around and he's like looking, but he's like looking at his vehicle, but he's also like looking at me and I'm casually just kind of like getting my stuff together, but I'm also like keeping him in, in my, my sight, you know, and he is, uh, he's acting very odd. I had noticed that he started to clean his windshield and all of his windows on his vehicle and that's when I had grabbed my firearm and I had put it on me. Even though this firearm is not the best in quality, regardless if it's not the best in quality, I can still beat the living crap out of somebody if I need to. Um, so, with that being said, yes, that moment did scare me, but at the same time, I did feel empowered to know that if worst case scenario happened, I am still able to defend myself. I still have a fighting chance, and a fighting chance is what I was going to give this person. I don't care. So, that is kind of my story um, about how somebody had made me feel very uncomfortable 
Um, and I want to say this happened probably close to about a year ago, I think, give or take. Um, and the other thing I tend to do is I also take a lot of pictures um, on my phone. I take recordings. I do all of that stuff because Snapchat always has a location. So my location is always on. So if, some, if something was to happen to me, people will have my location. Um, and that's, that's that. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. And I'm also regularly checking in. So, try me, boy. <sighs> but yeah. So, kind of tuning into this artwork, I had went over with, after everything, I went over with actually a ballpoint pen, only because I think the ballpoint pen, um, it gives it a little bit of like that I call it gritty texture. Like you, um, it kind of gives that sack look because um, when it comes to Sam, Sam is kind of a in a sack. Um, it's like those old potato sacks, um, and you kind of have to have that uh, texture to it that's rough and kind of scratchy and stuff like that, and. I really like how it turned out um, and I think honestly this particular piece of artwork is a hundred times better than the one that I had done previously but maybe it's just a bias to you know usually for some odd reason every time I do some artwork it always turns out the better what I feel like better the second time I do it so that's kind of one of those things that even though you did it the first time and it looks like crap, um, just keep going with it. I have one drawing that I think I did four times. I think it's been four times that I've done that drawing. And the very last piece of the drawing, or the very last one that I've done, I absolutely adore. And it, and it has nothing to do with like the tarot cards that it started out, because it started out as the sun and moon tarot cards, and now it is just the sun and moon and the stars, and like, it's just a really pretty piece of artwork. So, sometimes the first time is not always the greatest. Maybe you need to do it a second or a third time. Kind of revamp yourself, kind of look it over, and maybe something will change or you'll get a better understanding of something and that will be fun that that's where the fun is when it comes to this piece of artwork so I'm having fun and I hope you guys are having fun too I've enjoyed myself very much <laughs> And to be fair, here recently I have been really getting into the um, the the colored pencil over uh, the Copic markers. I don't know what it is about it. Like I think it just adds an extra dimension to the piece of artwork. Um, I do use Prismacolor. Uh, Premier colored pencils and I just oh I don't know why I am addicted to the idea and I kind of want to experiment more with um, what I kind of want to do is some watercolor um, just watercolor in general and then I kind of want to use some uh, to experiment with like colored pencils on top or something I think that would be a lot of fun too Oh. Yeah.
you will not believe how many times I've had to re-record, and then I finally caught that the f clips were reversed and stuff. But if you are new here, um, I do like white gel pen. I will add it in wherever I need to, whenever I need to, to add a little pizzazz to the piece of artwork. Unfortunately, my camera was having some focus issues, I think, and I was actually going in and doing the small little patchwork. I realized what I was doing. I was doing like some of the patchwork and some highlighting areas or, you know, adding a little bit more to the artwork itself. I ended up realizing that his, the bottom part of his outfit was a little bit more orange than it was, um, than it was paper sack brown paper bag um, look and so I darkened it a little bit made it a little bit better in my brain made it a little bit better but yeah without further ado I hope you guys had a great time listening watching and enjoying like and subscribe at the bottom I'm always here check out my red bubble for anything you might want and need and remember to create more and worry less. Thanks guys!